What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another uh, Attila battle for you. This is actually very different to what we usually do, we usually have got some sort of mod going on. But we have a uh, Attila mod, uh, Attila mod, an Attila battle for you. This is the historical battle of uh, Andronople, which is in 378 AD, so it's between, between the Eastern Roman Empire and the Visigoths all the way over there. Um, the Visigoths, uh, like the numbers that we're looking at like in history, the Visigoths had about like 20,000 men and uh, the Romans had about between 25 and 35 and 30,000 men, sorry. Um, so we'll play it at normal speed actually while, while this is happening. Um, in history it was a m major uh, Roman defeat. They actually, and it cost them their emperor, which uh, was over here, is Val Emperor Valens. Um, and then you have like Theodosius that comes after him. Um, and so this is just kind of before the the uh, period that Attila's set in. It's about 20 years short. Um, but you have then Theodosius after, and then on the, the game for Attila starts on the death of Theodosius in 395, around that point anyway. So um, we'll quickly go through some of the forces. So the Romans have uh, four units of Scholae Palatine, uh, Pal Palatine. We'll, we'll go with that anyway. I think they have about eight units of limit of these border guards. Um, about uh, six units of these uh, medium melee infantry exploratores. Um, they have five units of armored Sagittarii. Um, uh, these are all different names that I'm not used to because usually it's like just orcs or um, some Game of Thrones units. But no, we've got the actual proper units out for once. And um, they have about, I think, about four or five units of these Lanciari uh, Signoris. Um, they have four units of, um, well, they're Legio. Legio, they have about eight units of. They have about four units of these Protectores Dom Domestici. And then they have their general, obviously, the Magister Militum. So they've got, they do have the larger army, um, but uh, I do have a more elite army. And the, in the battle, uh, unfortunately we can't get any trees for this one because it would be really nice, but uh, I couldn't find a map with trees and also a nice open area. Um, but in the battle, uh, the Gothic army is so basically just camped out. It's at a baggage area, and the baggage area is being represented by my general, a uh, Gothic general, not an imaginative name, but you no, know, you got to work with what you have. And um, so we're sort of in a sort of a, a defensive area around our around our general or baggage, and uh, basically the B Romans then attack uh, in a wave. A certain amount of Romans go forward, attack, and then uh, they they basically get pushed back. Um, and then on hearing like of the attack and like hearing that the Gothic cavalry then arrives to join the battle, uh, coming back from like a hunting party almost. Uh, they've been out foraging for for supplies and just in the local area, basically burning other Roman villages. Um, and they they join the attack and encircle and basically it's a bit like Cane almost um, about three hundred years earlier, and um, and they basically destroy about two thirds of the Roman army. Um, so we'll quickly go through what the uh, Visigoths have. Um, it wasn't just the Visigoths; there were other like. Allens and the Vandals were there, but the Visigoths were the majority of the force, so we're going to use them. So I went with, I think, five units of Gothic Palatina uh, defectors. These guys, I mean, they look pretty solid. They don't, I didn't want to get too many elite guys, so I just thought these look pretty standard. Obviously, these are just kind of like Romans that defected in the game, but these are supposed to be like just the standard infantry that the Visigoths would have had. Um, we then have Noble Germanic Swords, which are kind of more the elite sort, uh, like the second, like, I guess more elite sort of stuff that we have, even though I think they're actually a little bit cheaper than the Palatinas. Then we have four units of these Oath Sworn, so with their Falks. So these are going to be the shock troops that are at the back just to protect themselves because they have no shields. And uh, yeah, well they'll be used to hold any po uh, chinks in the line. That's the one. Then I think I have five units of elite Germanic archers and four units of Germanic spearmasters on the flanks. And as I mentioned, my Gothic general. And then my reinforcements that will arrive about five uh, minutes into the the battle. Um, we have eight units of cavalry. So we have four units of noble Germanic horsemen on this side. Then we have noble uh, Gothic 
lancers. It's noble gothic lancers. I mean, these guys look pretty damn good. They look excellent. So if you want to see more um, historical battles, please suggest them in the comments below. I can see what I can do. Either it's in Rome 2, um, Attila, Napoleon, um, any of the Total Wars. I mean, preferably if it's Attila, it's certainly the easiest. Uh, it certainly has a wide variety of like mods and stuff I can do. Like obviously medieval um, with 1212 now, and uh, anything from the late Roman Empire um, into the Byzantine Empire, really almost. Um, we obviously, like, factions may be a limit, but we can always adapt for, uh, if we need to. But, I mean, yeah, these guys look pretty damn awesome. I mean, kind of a bit in love with them. But anyway, we have the advance now of the Romans. The Romans are advancing. So, I mean, the Limitai uh, border guards are going to be the first ones in, it would seem. So, they're putting the, the, the cheap stuff in first. Soak up some ammo, um, along with uh, the archers out front getting ready to uh, send a volley. I mean, they're already taking a few shots themselves. Any casualties? Any casualties? Uh, no, just some blood. Just some blood. No one's fallen over quite yet. But, I mean, uh, the elite... Uh, my archers are now shooting back and uh, are replying with some... Sh uh, are giving them a few sh volleys. It doesn't seem like the Romans are going to shoot anything yet. Maybe they're not quite in range. I don't know. I don't doubt there would be much change in uh, range. Uh, a mo much difference in range, sorry. But, um... Possibly there is. I mean, there's a good long line here. Just look at this line here of Romans. This is insane. That is... That is something. I mean, I love the shields. I mean, it's a shame that these guys are so cheap. Because they have actually probably some of the nicest looking shields. They're the most, like, uniform shields. And they're actually probably some of the cheaper units. I mean, I feel sorry for these swords back here. They're not going to be much protection from uh, any sort of swing of a sword or an axe or a spear. Or uh, or even a bow. Like, an arrow is going to just, like, destroy them. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Long line of red. And here they go. They're going to go in. It looks like... Uh, and there's uh, so many missiles, I mean, from these uh, Palatines. They're throwing, like, darts. I'm surprised that these guys... I don't think there's really an ambush, mate. But, I mean, thanks. Um, these Palatina, look at that. And then we go... A nice long line, and the Battle of Andronople is underway. Um, I mean, these guys are pretty well... Uh, these, all my men are kind of chevroned up a bit, so they may hold for a little while. And already you can see breaking going on there. It's going to be a quite a quick initial engagement. I was not surprised. Um, these Romans, these like first units of Romans that are getting sent in are uh, representing the border guard that were like just mobilized quickly by Valens. Then the second wave is more his elite army that he brings from Constantinople. But I mean, this is pretty damn... I mean, these cavalry are going to do some damage to these Oathsworn. The enemies have... Uh, Alright, okay. So, well, I mean, it still looks like there's been a fair amount of damage done to my troops. I mean, that's 95. They're still taking quite a few down. I mean, there's some troops that are getting a bit too, ex a bit too excited over here. I mean... Those defectors are going to definitely feel the pain because of it. I mean, I think I must have just given them the attack order and they're just carrying on. But, I mean, look at them. They're brave. Brave and possibly foolish. Yep. Yeah, you sh now you're the fool just standing there. Pull back, you fools. But, I mean, the cavalry are in the back here now doing some damage. Uh, I need to really deal with this. Um, but, I mean, I'm trying to keep my... My, my wagons are moving, in fact. <laughs> like, they're now mobile. Um, it's kind of the bonus, I guess, of having a general. I could have left him there and he would have possibly died but I'm, instead I'm just condemning my archers um, setting in some Thracian Oathsworn now I don't know if I actually called them a Thracian or not but they are, they are Thracians I thought might call them Germanics who knows, but, I mean yeah, look at that, just getting destroyed getting back there, so we've got a very thin line now of Palatinus to hold in the next wave that's kind of my own fault but um, it's fair it'll be okay, I mean we've still got quite a healthy number of Palatinus I do actually like them, they look really cool They've done well, but uh, but yes. So my archers are getting uh, breaking a bit over here. I mean, the cavalry is eventually getting dealt with, and in fact, the general slash wagons is coming in to help. I was like, right, that's it. Let's just get rid of these guys. Let's run them off the battlefield. But they look very elite themselves, and still the cavalry is yet to mobilise. So it is coming. It is taking its time. Um, looks like the archers coming forward again, um, but it looks it's slightly in my favour still. I have lost about, uh, they've lost about 2,000 men almost. Well, not, uh, just under 2,000 men. And still losing some. I have now taken the advantage in numbers. Um, so, it's going to take a big task from Rome. 
um, to really to beat this. They possibly want to hold off from firing. Obviously, they kind of got to commit because time is against them. They probably now, obviously, they know because they can see the cavalry is going to be arriving at some point. So they need to really get in there and engage and try and break this army before the cavalry arrives. Because obviously cavalry is key to uh, in Attila to breaking stuff. But I mean, they can certainly break through this first line of Palatina defectors. They are very thin on the ground. I mean, they're getting another wave, another wave, another volley here. But we're applying with our own volley. But I mean, the cavalry has been mobilized. Ladies and gentlemen, the cavalry has been mobilized. And the long lines of lancers are going out. They're going to the far right and I mean, uh, well, far left and right of uh, the formation. And it looks like um, Valens has gathered his bodyguard and also the remaining cavalry to defend him, his, himself. Which is kind of what happened, uh, but they're not quite sure what happened in history to Valens. Whether he uh, got killed in the fighting, uh, but some say that he retreated and got to a cottage and then the cottage was burnt down. And before they could do any, like the Goths could get him out, um, when they realised what they'd done, he'd burnt to a crisp. But um, that is possibly true, who knows. I mean, here we go. It's going to be the clash of the infantry, the more, more of the elites against the elites. The Palatinas against the Legio. The legions of Rome are here. But I mean, whether... But I mean, it looks already... I mean, the Oswald are already powered on through. They seem to just look, flanked on round. And they've uh, engaged the slightly more elite Protectores and the Lanciari. But I mean, they're holding a lot better of these Legio. Then, uh, but I mean, this, most of them are still losing decisively, it would seem, to these Palatina. I mean, actually, those pa these Palatina are supposedly losing here. But, I mean, look at this. Looks excellent. It has the, the cavalry is engaged, but it has been actually dealt with by spears. So, I mean, they should probably um, ha not have too much trouble mopping up those cavalry. I mean, this cavalry has all got in to the general here who's going to be in trouble. So, Valens is possibly in trouble. On this side, it has been engaged by infantry as well, so these cavalry will possibly have a harder time of it. Um, but who knows? I mean, again, here, spears against cavalry, they're probably going to get minced up, but there are some Thracian, Oathsworn, and some Germanic spears in the area trying to help. And all of a sudden, the Legio has crumbled. It's just, it just doesn't want to deal with the, all this uh, infantry. Now my general slash the wagons is kind of coming through, so the wagons are on the advance. So they're cutting down everything they have. I probably shouldn't have mobilized his cavalry, but I mean... Ah, well. It doesn't have to be entirely 100% accurate. But I mean, there are still pockets of fighting now on the front line by the Romans. They are holding strong here with the Protectoris Dom Domestici. Um, against spears and uh, noble swords. Brave fellows fighting and dying for the Empire. But I mean, yeah, you can see here, look at this cavalry, it's just getting minced up here. These, I should have probably pulled these guys out, but I hadn't really, probably was looking elsewhere at what was going on. I mean, they've held up this infantry, I guess. I mean, these, infant, these spears are excellent, I do like the look of them. I mean, the models can't can't knock uh, Total War and uh, Creative Assembly for, um, for their own models. They look excellent, to be fair. Like, after playing so much 12-12, these guys still look good. They still hold up very well. But, I mean, look at this. These Lansari now are going to get flanked by what would seem Oath Sworn. So, I mean, here we go. Yes, chop into them with the, your long falxes. Hopefully, you can get some kills. It looks like some Legio over here are, uh, have had a day. have had enough. They're going home. Oh, no, they're, they're still in the battle. They're going to help their general. Who is certainly in a in a in a sticky position? He's just a lot of cavalry here, but there's also now infantry helping support. So um, so who knows? I mean, this flank is basically all but gone. Cavalry here is with some infantry support has finally uh, relieved it. And what's left of the archers is kind of just picking off um, clumps of uh, Roman infantry. But, I mean, it, it seems like all the action's going on here. So we'll watch as the Lansari holds on. Come on, brave men. You must die for the, your emperor. And Rome. I mean, there's a thin, thin line. It's almost a crescent, an inverted crescent here. Of Romans holding the line. Just holding back these barbarians. It looks like 
this battle is going to follow the historical outcome and uh, of Andronopol. But I mean, at least this man's getting a kill. He's got another one. He'll take another one down with him. The general has fallen. Valens has died. The emperor is dead. He is breaking as well. And this is probably going to cause a mass rout. I mean, yeah, we go. Close victory. Uh, we will end the replay and have a look at the scores. I mean, that is... It was to be expected, to be fair. As you can see, he did outnumber me, but ever so slightly, I possibly could have given him the final three to make even uh, even more of an out... Uh, and more of an advantage. Well, uh, more of a... Not an advantage, but make it more even. But, um, I mean, he does have about a thousand more men, but... Uh, in the end, it did come down to veterancy of this uh, army that does uh, deserve to have its veterancy because it has spent like most of the time pillaging the empire and causing a lot of trouble. So uh, no, it, that's kind of too expected. But um, I mean, my general slash caravan did get 240 odd kills, one of the highest scoring. There's a 207 here, 240 for some Palatina defectors. These guys, I love these guys. They look awesome. I think they're they just they. Don't know, there's the circle shields and just like very late Roman Empire. It looks awesome. Um, all these units doing very, very, very well. Cavalry obviously coming late to the party, still getting some solid kills. 155. A 333. Did not see that. Thracian Oath Swarms get excellent amount of kills. That is great. And another one getting 235. Well done. Archers did okay. This one got kind of mown down by cavalry, but they all did fairly well. I did lose quite a few units actually. Um, but that's to be expected. This is war. Uh, Spears doing pretty solid as well, all getting nearly 100 kills. Um, so that's great to see as well. Um, thank you to Odysseus for um, playing. He's one of my subs. Um, thank you for taking part and doing this battle for m with me. Um, as you can see, obviously, we're on large armies uh, as well. I should have mentioned that earlier, but we, we are. So um, um, let's see. What, what What's he got here that's done really well? I mean, his cavalry got nearly 90, got 95 kills. That's done very well. All his cavalry apart from this one did fairly well. To be expected, Attila... Uh, cavalry is pretty damn OP. These Lanciari Signoris, they did fairly well as well, getting 50 kills, most of them each. And his uh, Legio doing pretty solid, getting about 60, uh, averaging like 50, 60 kills. And his uh, Domestici did getting about 60 odd kills um, around the stuff. Obviously, the crappy stuff here, doing pretty poor, but that's to be expected. They were sent in just to kind of like soak up fire. Um, and they got supported by some cavalry. Maybe. So if I was to do like a battle like this again, maybe give the Romans a bit more XP or some more solid units. But I mean, I kind of wanted to follow to history a bit. But uh, yeah, so if you guys have enjoyed and want to see more historical battles, um, please leave suggestions for some battles in the comments um, for me to have a look through. And I, I'll do some more, I'm sure, in the near future. But... If you guys enjoyed that, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here to join the Papal Legion. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.